In this tutorial, we want to append a row of data to our data log using Google Apps Scripts. If you want to play along, and I encourage you to do, you can find a copy of this Google Sheet in the description below. So let's get cracking. So let's head over to our Google Apps Script IDE. And let's rename the project, and I usually rename it the same as Sheet. Data log. I'll do. Hit rename. And we'll call our function append ev log. Cool. So let's just put in some dummy data here. We can see our headers are date, editor, ev id, the distance in kilometers, and the charge used as a percentage. So let's head back over here and add that in. And we'll put in a note first. Put data. And let's add in our sample data so we can say const data equals has a constant variable that won't change and we'll put in the 8th of june 2022 as our date our editor is going to be me so let's just put in a dummy one of those for a dummy at uh, ev Broom broom. Our next item is our EV ID. And we'll say we're using the EV00 with an ID 004. And we drove for 35 kilometers. We used 0 0.0189 or 1.89% of our charge. Okay, so now we've got our data there. Let's get our sheet tab to append. First, we need the spreadsheet. So const ss for spreadsheet. Spreadsheet app, get active spreadsheet. So our next variable is a constant, so it won't change. And we'll call it sheet equals. We'll grab a spreadsheet variable, ss, get sheet by Okay. And let's just head over and see what we've called our sheet here. It says data log. And just so we don't make any mistakes, just double click the data log, hit control C to copy. And we'll just paste that in inside some double quotation. Okay, so now we've got the sheet location. And all we need to do now is append the last row. In this case, it's going to be this one to our sheet. So let's go sheet. And we can use the append row method for this. So as you can see in the helper text, the append row method takes a single array of data. What do we want to append? Well, that's our data. And hit save. And this is the first time we'll run, so we'll have to run through authorization. Let's head back over and check out our sheet. And you can see that our data has been appended to the bottom here. Okay, so this sample data here might be useful if we're bringing in data from an external source, but as it is, it's relatively useless. Let's try something else. We have a Google Sheet tab that is just for inputting data that will append the row each time. Let's have a look. So I'll open one up I've prepared earlier. And you can see here I've got a date editor, uh, EVID, distance and charge, exactly like we have in our data log, in our input sheet. This time around, a user is going to put in an entry in each one of these cells here. And then when we run our script, it's going to grab this range here and then add it into the bottom here. Let's just change the ID of the EV just so we know we've added something different in. All right, let's head over and grab this data in our sheet. So what I'll do now is I will grab this function, hit Control C, and a couple spaces, hit return. Let's comment out that first function with control and forward slash. So pretty much everything we need is here. We can get rid of this value here. Let's delete that for now. Move our variable, our main spreadsheet collector variable up to the top. So hit control C and tab control V to paste. And we'll get rid of that one, which is excellent. And we'll just leave this one here for now. So first thing we need to do is collect our data. And then let's grab our source sheet. So we can go const 
source sheet equals get the sheet by name and we need to find the name of the sheet that we're working in which is this one over here so it's the import sheet so we'll just click double click it hit control c to copy and control v to paste now we've got the sheet and now we need the source range and that's going to be this a2 through to e2 so next we need to reference the source sheet so source sheet dot get range method and here we've got a choice of using numbers or we can use the a1 notation which is probably easier in this case so we'll go a2 to e Okay, once we grab the range, we haven't got the values yet, so we need to grab those source values. So let's go cons, source, oh, I made a mistake up here, source, source, yeah, that's better, source vowels, equals, and let's type in source range, there it is there, and we can go get values. Okay, so that's going to give us our values in that sheet. Let's just go and select uh, row 23 up to 21 and comment that out. And let's just console log to see what results we get here. Okay, so console log and let's just grab our source files and see what comes up. So hits run. And you can see we've got a two-dimensional array of all our results. So our date, the email, the vehicle type, the number of kilometers, and the percentage of charge used, which matches this value here. Awesome. So why I say two-dimensional array is because we have an array, which is this bracket here. And then inside that, we have a second array, which is the row. And each row will be an array of the outer array you can see there. Well, that's helpful. The append row method takes a single array of data, as you can see in our first example up the top here. So we need to flatten that down just so we've got the single array. Fortunately, JavaScript's got a handy flat method that will do just that. Okay, so if I flatten that now using flat, we should get something that resembles this up the top here. So let's try that and hit run. And now we've just got a one dimensional array of all our data, just like we have in this row three. Perfect. All right, let's close that. All right, we don't need this console log anymore, so we'll delete that. That's just for our little test. And let's uncomment this. And now we want to append our data. Okay, so first again, we can use sheet, uh, spreadsheet, get sheet by name, but sheet isn't very explanatory because now we have a source sheet and we've got a destination sheet. So this is our source. And this is our destination. So let's name that more accurately to destination. All right. And now all we need to do is append our row. We've got our example down below. So this time we are referencing our destination sheet. So we can type in destination sheet. And we want to append the row of that destination sheet. And we're going to use our source values here, which is the ones up the top here. So source vowels. Awesome. We don't need this one anymore, so let's delete that. So make a careful note here. We've got this value here for the 8th of June. And we're going to append this one over here. It's for our EV1. And let's hit run. And let's head back over. And we can see EV1's been added here. Perfect. If we're using this sheet as a common input location, where other users will go in and add more and more rows to the log. Now it's probably a good idea to clear out this section after each time we enter something. So what we can do here to do that is simply to go source range, which is this range here, and we can use clear content, which will clear the values or the content inside this range. All right, let's hit save. And let's just go over here. We'll change this EV to two this time so we can identify it better. And just click off. 
and let's run our script again. Cool, let's head over and now you can see that it's been removed from our input sheet and now added to the bottom or appended to our data log with EV2. It's important to keep in mind that the append row method is designed to complete a very specific task, and that is to append a single row of data to the bottom of a sheet. It won't append a range of data, so if you've got multiple rows of data, it won't be able to do that. And it also would fail if you've got extra columns of data that extend down. Let's say we're running a test where we've got kilometers greater than 100. So if we say distance greater than 100 k's, and then we're cross-checking that over to the left. So we go equals 84 is greater than 100. And then we hit that all the way down. And then we want to extend this down so it pens. So we'll just drag it down a little bit more. So let's just copy this last value back into our input sheet. So we've got some data to input. We'll make this one uh, 5, for example. And we'll go back to our script and I'll run our script and see what happens. So we'll hit run and head back over. Yep, it's been removed. And let's look at the data log. You can see now that the value has been added to the bottom here, past the value of the true and false column. So it's important to note so that you have any hidden formulas or visual formulas that we have here. It's going to be appended to the very bottom of where the last formula or value has been placed. So it's not ideal in those circumstances. Now, if you want to learn how to work around this, or be ranges of data to the bottom of a sheet, I have a number of tutorials from my website in the description below. That's it for a basic way to append data to the bottom of a Google Sheet uh, with Google Apps Scripts. In the next tutorial, we're going to expand on our single row input sheet and create a much more visually appealing input sheet where our users can add in our data and hit a submit button with hints and examples for them. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please click that like button. And if you want to find out when this tutorial comes out, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time.